Hey there, it's Erica from Ever Educating, and I do videos about teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for college instructors. This is going to be actually a, a series because I've just gotten access to Canvas as part of where I'm adjuncting currently. Um, before, I had access to Sakai LMS, and I have a video tutorial about that that I'll link below. But I know Canvas is a lot more popular, so I wanted to have basically a series of short videos about how I use it to curate my class website for my students. And so if you're new to Canvas, you know, as well, you might find these videos helpful. If you do, go ahead and click like and subscribe. All right. So in this fourth video of this Canvas tutorial series, we're covering creating modules. We already covered pages, discussions, and assignments. So I'll go ahead and link the series playlist in the description box below. So modules is the big one. This is how you structure your course so that students can easily find everything you're creating and adding to your website. Now here, I just can show you what it's already here, uh, which was created in large part by the template that I received when I added this course. But as you can see here, I have just one little mini module. So this is the Zoom link that we'll use for our class discussions. We have a getting started module to just kind of go over, you know, learning tools and policies and all that. And then they have it here where it's a, a module per week. This seems to be a structure that works well for an online course that's asynchronous versus a synchronous one. So I actually won't be using this particular template. I'll be deleting these, but I wanted to show you it before I did that to kind of give you a sense of, so you have here, here's an overview of week one and it's a page that's been created. Here's the materials that you need to, and for you know, week one. And again, that's a page that would list all the materials and information. Here's a discussion form that I want you to you know, reply to during this week. Here's an assignment that you have to do this week. And then here's just a summary of our first week, right? And so that's how it has it structured. A lot of these are pages created and then these other ones are not. And so this again, if it's asynchronous and it's just here are things I want you to do during week one, this works. But in my case, we're, we're not because it's, it's a remote learning environment. So there is a Tuesday, Thursday schedule. So I'm going to show you how to create this now. You're going to go up here and you're going to click the plus module sign and you're going to give the module a name. So let's say week one. Now you can lock it until a certain time, which I do like. So, for example, you might have, well, lock one, you know, week one starts August 24th, right? So I want you to go ahead and maybe unlock it on that Sunday at a certain time, right, at, at noon. Okay, and so that's when it will open for students to be able to see it, you know, will be that Sunday, okay? You can also add prerequisites. So you might say, okay, before they can do this module, first they have to go through the getting started module, okay? And so you can then click add module and do that. Now let's say for now, that's not required. So we can just exit that out and just create a regular module that unlocks on a certain date. So let's go ahead on down to where it is. So now it's here, it was created all the way at the bottom, but you can easily click and drag it up if you want to, okay? Wherever it needs to be. It's not currently published, which you can see with this icon. Once you wanna publish it, you just click and it will appear published. Okay, so now you have the week one module. What do you do next? As you can see here, you can always duplicate it if you need to. Um, so let's say your weeks look very similar. You can just edit out the differences by duplicating rather than starting from scratch each time. But in this case, we're gonna add that plus sign. And what are you gonna do next? You know, okay, we're gonna add a page, right? And so I, if you saw my first tutorial, you go on down and I have that module week one page that I created and you say add that item and so now that page has been added okay and then so students will go to module week one and they'll see okay well on Tuesday the classwork is this watch this video do this activity okay and then your homework is to do this Okay, so this is basically a page I created as an example, and I have all this information here. But you just might have, here's just the information um, without the links to the actual assignments, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a second in the actual module page, okay? So you have that here. 
go back to modules all the way down here now we're going to add and so after they do they do all those readings that i said to do the next thing i want you to do is a discussion and so again i created that example discussion i'm going to say add that item so students know the first thing to do is to look here for on that page for information about our classwork and they walk chat video and then for homework i said i want you to do the week the week one reading response okay and so they can just see that right here unless you add to the page which you can do as well now you add and you say okay well after they do the discussion then they're ready to do an assignment that i created for them during week one and so the paper outline that i want them to start with go ahead and add that item okay and so now we have an assignment in there too and so you just keep building so maybe you have here you know mo module week one you know you might have rather than week one it might just be tuesday right and you have here's all information you need for tuesday's class you know leading up to tuesday and this is what we did on tuesday but then for homework go ahead and see the next step of the module and so students come back here and they know okay the next step that she wants me to do is to do this this discussion form and then after that she wants me to do this assignment and then after that she wants me to read this new page that's about thursday and after that and so on and so forth right so you're building a model here the order in which students should be doing things and if you need to you can go ahead and reorder them as after you add them to it okay however you need that to be so we'll keep that simple here but you can add as many as you want to each module now what i want to do here is go to the settings of the module itself okay and go ahead and click edit now we are back here but now other than prerequisites there's now requirements so you might hear okay before they can do the week one module they have to go through the getting started module okay and then for requirements i'm going to add a requirement okay so for the module week one the first thing they have to do is they have to read that page and can they view it or do they have to actually mark it as done or you have to contribute to it so i'll say they have to mark it as done and after that they have to go through and go to the discussion form and they have to contribute to that page and then after that then they have to go ahead and go to the assignment and they have to submit the assignment okay and so now when you update that module okay, it tells them what they have to do they have to mark it as done they have to contribute they have to submit it okay and so in order to be able to contribute to their discussion they must first say they have to go in here they have to read through it and they have to say i'm marking marking it as done okay and so once they do that they can go to the discussion form and they can reply to it and once they do that they can go next again and now they're at that assignment and they can go ahead and submit it okay and so basically what you're doing here is you're saying are they required to do a module in a certain order okay or not right so maybe you have here and let's go ahead and edit it again and so they have to go through the get started one before they can do this one but maybe they don't have to do the outline they're not going to require that in order to move on to the next module for example okay but they have to do these two things okay or maybe nothing right maybe you don't want anything to be required in that sense you might have okay well you have to do the discussion form you have to actually contribute to it but it doesn't have to be in a certain order you can contribute to this discussion before you read that first page right with the instructions for some, whatever reason and so you can do that instead and so now they know okay the requirement here is they must contribute so you complete one item but the prereq is to do the get started okay so that's up to you if you want to do more advanced features of a module as far as prereqs goes and requirements goes so this can be very important if you're scaffolding and you have a certain assignment that can be done without other assignments being done you can make sure that those are those are required so students actually can't move past them unless they've done it right so it can be playing hardball with them in in a, in a way 
Now, if we go up here, just so you know, what's view progress, I can't share the page because it shows you my students' names. But when you click that, you can go to each student and you can say, you can see, have they done something, right? Have they completed a certain module or not? And so you can see their progress on the course individually. So that's what that view progress button is. Remember that you can go to the commons of Canvas and see if there's any modules there that you want to use for your own course. Those are ones that have already been shared by other instructors. All right, so that's really, you know, as simple as it is. It's, again, that's why I have this module as a fourth video, because the big thing is to create those pages. That's the major part of the Canvas setup. And after that, creating the discussion forums, creating assignments, and then just adding all the links to it. So you can have it in the sense of, you know, these various elements, or again, if you go to a certain, create a certain page, you can have it all linked together. So under here, you know, this week one response is that assignment, right? And this is another, uh, sorry, that is a discussion forum, and this is that assignment. So when they click on it, it goes directly to it. So if you wanted to, you can just create one page for each module or you can have it all separate into different elements of one module. It's up to you to decide how you want to design the look of your website, right? So my suggestion, again, you know, that, that example page I just created because I was showing a tutorial of how to create pages that are more complex. But personally, I would do, the name of this page will be Tuesday. And in it, I'll say, okay, our classwork is to do these various things. And our homework will be to do these various things. So go ahead and see the rest of the module for links to, you know, everything I've just said. So maybe I have classwork is to do a discussion response, right? And so students from here can access this discussion response, okay? Um, then I'll say for homework, I want you to outline your paper. And so on here, they can see the paper outline link. So maybe I'll include those links in the page one, right? But I don't have to if I don't want to right, because they can access it here. But giving them more options, I think, works well. So having it linked in the page of Tuesday, as well as out here, I think will be a good idea. And then under the Tuesday page, I would have links to any readings I want them to do or videos to watch and all that, right? Um, there's no, to me, there's no need to create individual pages for individual assignments, because then that just makes the module very long. So these were the four elements that I wanted to make sure we went through on Canvas. So pages, discussions, assignments, and modules. In the next tutorial for Canvas, I'll be going over more individual elements of this site, right? So maybe the syllabus page, right? How attendance works. So I'll be going into smaller elements of Canvas rather than these four big ones. Um, so hopefully you'll keep watching this series. If you haven't watched the videos from before, I highly recommend them. If you have any questions about what I just went over, or if you want me to make sure I create a video about a specific element of the Canvas you know, LMS, do let me know in the comments below so I can do that in future videos. Uh, but if not, go ahead, if you haven't yet, and click that like button. I'll see you next time.